What's going on everybody, Quan Credible here. And today we're gonna to be talking about Julius, or more specifically, is Julius a good leader or not? Or do you consider him like an uh, idiot? Now, the thing with Julius is I feel like a, a lot of people are like polarized, I guess, on him. Like some people feel like Julius did an amazing job, whereas a lot of people feel like he did literally everything wrong. So I just kinda of wanna go into like, what the Wizard King actually is and is supposed to do and kind of give my take on it. Um, now, I'm sure all of you know this, but just to, you know, for the sake of the, the video, I'll just go over it mad brief. The Wizard King is basically just the leader over the military and like all of those kind of affairs in the uh, Clover Kingdom. So imagine if like the military was mixed with like the police, that's kind of what the Magic Knights are. And then the Wizard King is over all of that. That is what he is control of. He does not have control of laws. He doesn't have control over like what rules are like input in, in, a, in a place or over government officials, anything along those lines. He's strictly just what he is, military and law enforcement. That is it. Now, with that being said, not like I don't want to I don't want to like confuse anybody and make it sound like he doesn't have that much power because he does. Being in control of those two things, you are in a you you have a position of immense power just with those two. Like 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 make no mistake there. But it's not like he can necessarily do everything. Um, I, I have seen some people say like, oh well, Julius didn't stop. Um, Julius hasn't stopped the whole classes system or all of the discrimination in, in the Clover Kingdom. And that's just because he's not in a position to. Like, he's simply just not in the position to do that. Um, but that aside, it, a lot of this kind of goes down into what you believe a good leader actually is. Now, like, some people value different things in leaders, which is fair, because being a good leader is kind of subjective. I mean, there are lots of things that we can already rule out uh, that make you a good leader, such as, like, dependability and honesty and, you know, being reliable and all the, those good things, honest, all that, like, like the real, ba the real, like, basic, basic stuff, but as far as, like, strictness and leniency, lots of people, it falls in different places, so it's kind of hard to say. Now, as for all of the things that Julius is doing right, or had done right, I mean, he implemented the star system, you know, which helps peasants or commoners get more noticed among the Magic Knights, which is really good. That's like a step in the right direction in terms of defeating a d discriminatory or classist system. Uh, he's also put in place numerous captains that have come from a variety of backgrounds, such as like fallen nobles or foreigners commoners things along those lines julius has appointed these people in high positions of power to you know kind of normalize it so it's like he's doing what he can from his you know from his place of uh power which is really good now as for kind of what he's done wrong it would be the really big thing with like uh how lenient he is on criminals at times such as like the main members of the eye of the midnight sun with like radies sally and Valtos, which is kind of lenient on them or with uh traders like gildre or more well-known william um how we kind of let both of them slide with very very light sentences if anything at all in william's case now uh, another big thing that William has kind of done wrong was how he handled the whole William and Partry situation. Up until it was revealed that William was Partry, uh, we kind of didn't know if anyone knew. Like, we've seen that Yami had a hunch, but for the most part, we just assumed everyone was in the dark. Now, when we've seen William transform into Partry in front of Julius, he even says himself, like Julius said, I really hoped that this wasn't the case. Kind of like alluding to that he knew or had some type of idea that like William was Partry and then in the next like you know interaction between those two he goes on to kind of like explain why he thought that and how like William kind of kept his distance and all that so he kind of had an idea of what was going on and now him not acting on these feelings as well as during the via fight uh trying to capture Partry alive for the sake of William so he wouldn't have to kill him uh ultimately led to the kingdom getting put in a lot of danger uh, now, he did save everybody, but it was at the cost of his own life, which made him be absent for a really huge, huge moment, uh, you know, in the Elven arc. Like, him being, you know, ki seemingly killed or defeated by, by Partry is what led to the Magic Stones being, you know, left in Partry's possession, then everybody getting um, re resurrected, as well as the Word Devil coming out. So, it's like, a lot of this was put into place kind of by Julius's leniency. Um, now, of course, obviously, there's lots of fault on William and Partridge and all that other stuff. Word Devil was the one who orchestrated all this. But from if we're talking strictly from Julius's standpoint as a leader, had he been more heavy handed and like acted, um, you know, more with the nation's best interest in mind, not necessarily his personal feelings. A lot of this could have been avoided outright.
like just outright it could have been avoided now with that one thing right there a lot of people will say that makes him a bad leader and granted it is only one thing but it's one really really big thing like that is a really big deal like you let uh, you like so much happened because you were just trying to protect one person that was close to you so much happened just be because uh, of that and I feel like it's a little bit deeper than that because I don't I personally don't think Julius is a bad leader I think he's a pretty decent leader I don't think he's he's you know the best leader ever I just think he's decent uh, definitely better than say like the the third Hokage <laughs> I think he's a way better leader than uh, him but I, I, I just I really just feel like he's only decent now another reason I feel like that people may skip over or may not realize is that Julius didn't just not kill Partry because he was trying to protect William. There's, a, there's another reason behind all that. Um, Julius is also very similar to Asta and Lumiere, where he wants everyone to understand each other. He wants everyone to be able to reach a common ground. Uh, so he also, I feel like he didn't want to kill Partry for that reason as well. He wanted to be able to, you know, capture him and, and find a more peaceful way to deal with this, to, you know, to kind of mend over the relationship between elves and humans, which I think is a you know a morally good choice but again it just kind of put a lot of people in danger because it, it uh, failed so ultimately you could really go back and forth depending on if you think he's a good leader or a bad leader just depending on what you personally value uh out of a leader like if you're more so for peaceful resolutions and leniency that could possibly lead to people who did heinous crimes sliding or getting a pass or, or if you're more towards uh, you know strictfulness however like they might not necessarily try to solve things you know in a more peaceful way which I, I don't really feel like either one is bad I feel like they're both like good traits for leaders to, to, to have obviously in a perfect world you'd have some type of perfect balance between the two always knowing which one to, to like to, to, to a go for but I feel like that's what makes characters good is when you like have that you know that there is that like gray area and then the characters can like you know make wrong choices or make bad choices it makes them feel more human because you know we mess up all the time <laughs> so I, I kind of like that aspect to it um that's kind of all i have to say about it on the topic on if julius is an amazing leader or not uh, let me know what you guys think down below if you guys think he's great or he did a good job or is doing a good job or if you think he's absolutely horrible and he is dropping the ball i do still stand by what i said i think he's a better leader than the third hokage <laughs> which is funny to me uh i do think you know overall he, he's pretty decent i think he is a decent leader uh nonetheless not quite amazing but pretty decent but yeah, aside from that, let me know how you guys feel about it down below. Uh, make sure you guys like the video so it's up to my channel. I really do appreciate all of the support. I really want the channel to grow as big as possible. can. I need you guys' help to do it. Um, that being said, I hope you guys all enjoy the rest of your day, and I will catch you in my next video.